Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Um, today's video is gonna be a little bit different than normal. As you can tell, we're not out fishing today. Um, I'm in my barn and we're gonna be filming a top five favorite presentations to catch big smallmouth bass. So coming in at number five, it's a little bit generic, but I had to include it just because it's so efficient, is the Ned Rig. Um, this bait right here in particular is a six cents Ned Fry. It's a 3.8 inch bait. So I'll actually cut down just about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch in some cases, um, just to make that presentation a little bit smaller and uh, fit on that hook a little nicer. So you can see it's got a nice two-tone color there. Um, that's one of my favorite things about this bait as well as um, it has ridges all up and down this bait. So it gives it a lot of good action. So I had to include that just because it's caught me so many fish and last year I believe it caught me my biggest bass of the year which was a 5.85 pound smallmouth bass um, so this bait's just a super versatile bait it's not flashy it's not anything too exciting but um, there is one little wrinkle in there that I kind of figured out later this fall um, this isn't technically a Ned Rig but I fish it the same exact way as a Ned Rig so I that's why I kind of clumped it together here with this Ned Rig category so this bait is a crew um, it's made by six cents and it is basically a mini tube in a crayfish profile as you can see right there it's a very unique profile with a couple small appendages off the side and a couple longer ones off the bottom to give it a really realistic crayfish look to it um, but like I said it's hollow like a tube that's why it's called the crew that bait right there uh, boated a lot of fish for me this fall I didn't throw it a ton in the spring because it was new to the market last year so I was just kind of getting it in the summer but I'm really excited to pick that guy up um, in this coming spring. It's basically a Ned Rig, um, but then it just has a little bit different profile that a lot of those fish haven't seen much of. And on top of that, um, it has a little bit bulkier presentation if you just look at the two side by side and has a few more appendages to move in uh, the water there. So that's why I like that bait. All right, coming in at number four is the jerk bait. Um, as you can see, I have quite a few out in front of me. I'm just gonna go through some of my favorites um, that I've had success with in the past. We'll start things off down in the bottom left here. This is the Berkeley Stunna. To be totally transparent, I have not thrown this bait a ton, but I've heard really good things about it from other people um, in the fishing industry. So I had to include that there. That's one bait I'm gonna try to throw a little bit more uh, this spring. Um, in the middle here, we have a Jackal Rearrange jerkbait. This jerkbait in particular is a shallower diving jerkbait, but it has a really um, erratic action. Um, it kind of shoots all over the water and has some really uh, wild action. So that's a really cool jerkbait as well um, for shallow flats and just uh, other areas where you don't need to be quite as deep. But this one right here is just a Mega Bass 110. This is actually the plus two. Um, this is a really nice bait when you want to get down to some of those lower suspended fish, uh, lower in the water column. So those are my three that I've, I've thrown these two quite a bit in years past. Like I said, I wanna get um, throwing that stun out a little bit more this year. So up top here, we have the jerk bait that I probably threw the most this year. It's the jerk bait made by Six Sense called the Provoke DD. Um, they have a normal Provoke series and then this is the DD is the deep diving version and uh, being from Michigan, a lot of the areas that I fish are relatively deep. So the DD has kind of been my uh, go-to so far this year. So this one right here is my all-time favorite color that they make. This is the Wabi Sabi color. Um, it has a really nice translucent body with a purple top and kind of a neon yellowish bottom to it. Um, awesome bait. It comes with really nice hooks, which is a bonus. Um, you don't really have to worry about switching out hooks, um, which is sometimes the case with some other jerk baits. But like I said, this bait is awesome. I've caught a lot of cold water smallmouth on this bait in particular. Then right here we have kind of a bluegill brim color. Um, it's that same exact Provoke DD, same hooks and everything. Awesome bait. I, I'll actually pick that up a little bit more when I'm around um, smaller inland lakes going for large mouth, which is rare, but it does happen. And then over here we have kind of a whitish neon flash. It's also the Provoke DD. So jerk baits round up uh, number four, had to include them. Again, nothing crazy flashy, but it's just such a cold water killer uh, up here in Michigan. When Whenever those temperatures are cold, whether it's um, fall or spring, um, anytime that that water is between like high 40s and all the way through 50s, I've had really good success throwing jerk baits. So that is number four. Coming in at number three is the uh, Dark Sleeper made by Mega Bass. Um, in particular, there's only really one color and one size that I throw of this bait. Um, I've thrown quite a few of the colors and haven't had anywhere close to the amount of success that I've had throwing these guys right here. This is the three inch half ounce Wakasagi color. I've thrown a lot of the other sizes and colors and nothing has come close to this one right here. I don't know what it is, um, but this is just my go-to bait. Um, specifically, I like throwing this bait a lot on Lake St. Clair in the spring. Um, that's kind of when a lot of guys are throwing tubes out there. 
Um, it's just nice to get a little bit different profile. And then also when you're fishing over all those rock flats, it's really nice to have that a uh, little bit of a weed guard there in the built-in fin. Um, but then also when those fish want to eat it, they smoke it. And there's, there's no denying that. It's a really fun bite to get on. Um, like I said, I typically throw that the most in the spring, but I've also thrown it around in the fall and a little bit in the summer. It can be tricky to get this bait down to those fish at times. So that's why I primarily throw it in the spring when a lot of those fish are moved up on shallow cover. So it's an awesome bait that I've also had a lot of big bites on this year as well. A lot of four and five pounders. And like I said, that's pretty much my go-to bait right there uh, for fishing Lake St. Clair in the spring. So coming in at number two, it's gotta be the drop shot. Um, it's probably no surprise there, but there's just so many different baits and techniques and presentations that you can just catch some really big quality fish on. Um, so I'm gonna cover a few of my favorite kinds of baits that I like to put on drop shots and how I like to fish them and just give you some colors and rundowns on that. So first things first, we'll start with this uh, Six Sense Glitch. These are all the same baits on this bottom here, just in different colors. Um, so this bait is just over three inches and it is a very awesome bait um, in the summer times once those fish get out a little bit deeper and are a little bit pressured um, I'd say the most success I'd, I've had is probably up on lakes like Charlevoix and such that get some good pressure. Um, but this bait, for some reason, I, I don't know if it's the profile or just the fact that it's a new bait that hit the market last year. Um, I've caught a lot of fish on this, and this is probably my go-to confidence bait um, when it comes to drop shotting. It's a really nice, sleek profile, and it comes in a bunch of different color patterns like this. I love the two-tone colors to these, um, and I'll typically nose hook this with like a size 2 Gamagatsu hook. Um, I have tried to thread them before. They do work, but I've found that it works a little bit better to just nose hook those. Um, and as long as you have a really small um, hook, like a size two hook, um, I haven't had any troubles hooking up on those. And I've caught a lot of very large smallmouth on that this past year. Like I said, my favorite time to throw that um, is probably just all summer long. Anytime those fish have transitioned out of their summer patterns, um, just throw that on a three eighths or a half ounce weight and fish it anywhere from 12 to 40, 50 feet. So, that's probably my go-to confidence bait when it comes to drop shotting. Up next here is another bait that I threw around quite a bit, um, specifically on Lake St. Clair. We had a tournament out there in August this past year and I threw this bait around with a lot of success. This is the Six Sense Juggle Minnow. They came out with this bait sometime in the middle of the summer, so I kind of picked that up and started throwing up, throwing this guy around for a lot of um, the tournaments later in the year. Worked out very well, like I said. Um, these are my two favorite colors here. That bait's nice um, anytime those fish are kind of um, in schools and chasing bait around. So it's just a little bit bigger profile that uh, I think moves around a little bit more water and uh, just maybe draws in a few more bigger bites. Not totally sure on that, but I've caught some really quality fish on that bait as well. Another bait that I wanted to quick talk about, it's a lot different than the other ones sitting out here. This is the Six Sense uh, Flush. It's actually more of a soft jerk bait, so I didn't know if I should put it in the jerk bait category or in the drop shot, but seeing as I fish it on a drop shot with just a bigger setup, um, I decided to put it here. This bait has caught me quite a few um, very large smallmouth. I think it takes a very specific um, lake and like time of year that this bait will work, but when it does, it is awesome. Um, like I said, it is a 5.2 inch soft jerk bait. So it's a lot like a full-size Z2, which I'm sure um, most of you guys have heard about or fished, uh, which is another awesome bait. Um, but I just fish that with a bigger drop shot hook and typically a heavier weight. And I like to kind of snap that bait around and basically fish it like a jerk bait, um, just imagining if that were within a few feet of the bottom. So I'll typically like to throw a nice long leader on that and uh, just kind of crack that around. That gives it a very um, wild action down towards the bottom there. And when those fish want it, they crank it. So I've caught quite a few large fish on that one as well. A couple of my heavier fives came off of that this year. So I'll roll some of that footage here as well. Then a few of the other baits that I've thrown a lot in previous years is the Mega Bass uh, Hasdong. That little three inch profile is just killer when those fish are pressured and any time you get around current, um, that's probably my go-to bait in the current. And then also the Berkeley Max Scent Flatworms and Flat Nose Minnows are obvious players as well. I didn't want to show those just because those are a lot more generic and I'm sure most of you guys have fished those or at least heard of them. So I wanted to try to uh, keep it specific to what I've actually thrown the most of last year and had the most success on. So that rounds up um, the generic number two, which is the drop shot presentation. Coming in at number one is gonna be a little swim bait. Um, there's a few different kinds and styles I like, but I just, a little micro swim bait is so hard to beat for clear water, big smallmouth. Um, 
I've caught a ton of big fish on a little swim bait. I've seen a lot of big fish get caught on a swim bait. So it definitely came in at number one. And I would say this is kind of the first year that I got into really throwing and dragging around these tiny little swim baits. And it's been super successful and definitely gonna be something that I continue to do moving forward. We'll start with this little bait on the left here. This is the uh, little spark shad made by Mega Bass. This is probably the OG, um, just of the little swim baits. It's such a good profile and a tiny little bait with an awesome action. And then this guy over here is another one worth mentioning. So this one is another swim bait setup, a little bit different though, because this is on the Okashira head, also made by Mega Bass. Um, this bait is probably my go-to anytime I'm fishing really shallow flats. So two other swim baits that I like a lot. Um, this one is the Kitek Easy Shiner. I've thrown the normal fat impact Kitek a ton, but I actually like the Easy Shiner a little bit more when it comes to uh, very finesse fishing for big smallmouth. Then also this summer I started throwing around the Six Sense Divine Swim Bait quite a bit. Um, my favorite size is just this 3.2 inch. And this would be my favorite color here, which is the uh, Shad Scream. It's just a nice translucent bottom with a tannish top. The versatility of these baits make them my number one for me. You can throw them in so many different situations and um, water temps that it's just an awesome bait. These are my top five baits to catch big smallmouth on. If you have any questions, I would love to hear. Um, comment down below what your favorite baits are, if they're any of the same ones up here or any different ones that I might be missing. So if you guys want any of these Six Sense baits that I've talked about, um, you can go ahead and go to their website and get 10% off your order using my discount code, uh, which is REAL, R-E-E-L. But yeah, it's a company that I've worked with a lot over the last year. They have some amazing products. And with the addition of Corey Johnson, this company is just gonna continue to um, excel and grow into the smallmouth market. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a great day and hopefully we can either get on some ice soon or it'll just warm up and it'll be spring because right now this whole in between ice fishing open water season kind of stinks. So thank you again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.